Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. In this video I will show you how to distribute your game. Um, because let's say that you have finished your game or that you simply want to um, publish a demo of your game in development. Um, how to provide the, the game to players. It's, it's not very complicated, we will cover the Windows case in this video, but it's similar in other systems. You have um, two, two parts to provide. The first part is the engine, so the Solaris run executable file with the DLLs, dynamic libraries. This is the engine, and the second part is the data your game, your quest. So let's try to do this. Okay, so the executable file, the DLLs. Let's copy all of this in a, in a directory. Okay. Um, some of the DLLs are actually not useful the biggest ones are not useful for just running a game. They are used only by the, the quest editor in version 1.4. So the IC 3DLLs starting with IC are not useful. GCC is not useful. Uh, STDC++ is not useful. WinP thread and the QT5 ones. You can remove all of these. At least in 1.4, Solaris 1.4. Okay. Uh, so this is the engine, and we just have to add the data of the game. And <laughs> we can already say that that's it. The game can be run from here. So you can just make a zip file of that and publish it on your on your website and it will work. Um, you can, can also, so the data files of your quest can be either a, a data directory or you can also compress all of this in, into a single file Maybe you, you okay. They so don't want empty directories, so enemies and entities are empty. Okay. So a da data directory or data dot solaris. Uh, yes, data dot solaris file, a zip file. Okay, and if I do that, I can remove the data directory and it will still work. Okay, this is a tutorial quest from the previous chapter of the tutorial. Um, the, the, the zip archive can also be called data solaris zip. Okay, so it, it can be a, a data directory, a data.solaris file, or a data.solaris.zip file. And if, if it has um, some other name, it will not work. The engine does not run. And active, actually, if you could run it in console mode, it would tell you that no quest was found. But in future versions this will be improved. So there will be a, an error message. Okay. So this is, wh this is what you can do. A zip file of all this and just send it to the players. You could, we can call this, for example, tutorial quest 24 because this is chapter 24 
Okay. Um, the second possibility is to make um, a Windows installer file. Um, some users prefer this option because with an installer um, they don't have to extract uh, zip files th themselves and they get um, a desktop shortcut and a start menu shortcut also. So some players prefer that and some players hate that because it installs things on their system. So what I recommend is to provide both both options a zip file and an installer file. So to make the installer file you can use uh, this great uh, setup compiler in a setup So uh, you can download in a setup here in in the, in the official website. Um, I recommend the Unicode version unless you know what you're doing. You can read the documentations to know the difference between both. Okay, so download in a setup. I already downloaded this when preparing the tutorial so I can directly install in your setup um, English okay and you can keep the default settings launch in your setup okay let's create an installer for our game using the script wizard. Okay, application name um, Solaris Tutorial Quest version 24. Program files folder Solaris Tutorial Quest, okay. And here you have to specify all files to be installed. And um, there is a special field for the main executable file, if there is one. And in our case, of course, there of course there is one. Um, downloads. It's Solaris run exe. Okay. And then you can add all other files. So the DLL files and the data archive of your quest. Okay, next. Uh, this is probably good. You can also show some license information. It can be very useful for users because um, everything is not uh, straightforward <laughs> with licenses. I mean, if you are providing both um, the Solaris engine and your game, they will probably have two different licenses. The Solaris engine is licensed under um, GNU public license GPL, and your game can be can have any license you want. By the way, since uh, the Solaris engine is in GPL, it means that um, you have to also provide another a link to the source code of Solaris. You can simply provide a link to the, to the official website and say that uh, users can find the source code there. Uh, okay, and you can customize uh, things like, for example, the the name of your setup executable file. So, tutorial quest setup, maybe. You can also choose a custom icon file, this is very useful. Okay, so this is your new script. Um, all of this was generated by the the wizard we just we just did. 
but you can you can change things uh, with this text editor okay and when you have finished um, you can first you can save of course tutorial quest setup save your your project and then compile build compile so this is a compilation we are creating an executable file that will install everything and it was generated in this output directory tutorial quest setup okay so this is what you can provide to your users upload this to your website and that's it and people will download that and they will be able to install your game like this okay it should have appeared here yes so that was tutorial quest okay um that's it for this video so again you can either make a zip file or an installer file and i recommend to do both thank you for watching this video and see you next time bye